We need to ensure that we make the XRP ledger a place where projects, companies can transact more freely, transact more easily, but can still satisfy all their compliance and regulatory needs. My name is Mayuka Vadari. I'm a senior software engineer at Ripple, and I'm currently leading the programmability initiative for bringing native programmability to the XRP ledger. Ripple's always been focused on payments, and that's very much a real world use case. The permission DEX is a new feature coming to the XRP ledger that allows projects to access regulated liquidity. Right now, the DEX and most DEXs that exist in crypto are completely decentralized and completely permissionless. And while that's really great for getting a wealth of liquidity from everywhere, that's really difficult when you encounter the various compliance and regulatory needs that any modern company has to has to face. So the first layer of features that the permission decks builds on top of is credentials. Essentially what credentials are is they're a way of indicating some sort of credential certificate uh, permissioning on chain. So one example that this might be used is for KYC. So you can indicate if your account has been properly KYC'd, vetted based on certain jurisdictions. Built on top of that is the permission domain. This is essentially a collection of credentials that satisfy a certain regulatory need. This could be, for example, different KYC providers. And then permission DEX essentially says that any member of a domain, anybody who has one of these credentials, can participate in this sort of corner of the DEX that is only accessible to people with this domain. The biggest need for institutional grade uh, infrastructure is really on the compliance front. Crypto was intended to be this decentralized world, permissionless world, which does have a lot of benefits and makes it a lot easier to transfer money all around the world. I think the next level up for the XRP ledger is bringing native programmability on chain. So what this means is the XRPL has a lot of really cool features that are already native features built into the ledger. And they're really powerful, they're really efficient, they're very well tested, and that serves a lot of great use cases. Biggest difference with programmability on the XRPL versus smart contracts on other chains such as EVM is that the XRPL has a lot of native features. The EVM and a lot of other chains, they only have smart contracts. And so what that means is you often don't have to reinvent the wheel, write a smart contract for every single feature. For example, if you want to do some sort of multi-sign setup on Ethereum, you need a smart contract. On the XRPL, that's just a native feature. 